Yo, 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 we back in the madhouse and we get in mad deep. I'm with my man Kenny Malice and who do we have today? Guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the Mad Deep Podcast. I'm here with Alexis Wrote It. Alexis, how are you doing today? Thank you so much for coming. Um, what's up with you, bro? Nothing, just chilling. Just chilling? <laughs> yeah, just made the made the the track over here. Yeah, it's a, it's a little far out. Huh? It's not really. I mean, it is and it isn't. I guess in LA terms, it's not, but in Arizona terms, it is so so yeah so just to get things started so um i know you're from arizona yeah you just yeah. told me um yeah. so just to kind of let the people know like who are you what do you do where are you from and uh what's going on with you uh okay let's start with the first one who am i alexis i'm alexis uh i was i'm from arizona that's that's my spot and uh, i make music i guess like you know okay fire yeah, yeah. fire fire cool. so you say um so you're from arizona okay so yeah what's the music scene like out there bro because i know you guys are still part of like the southern western part of the united states you know i know what what kind of sound you guys have out there i don't think we have a sound it's, it's just different i think uh i mean obviously shout out mc magic that's like the fucking the you know when people be like oh it's from arizona like you don't we don't really have anybody but i mean you could think of like alice cooper uh you know chester bennington from lincoln park r.i.p um, you know, like, I feel like a lot of rock, like, big rock, like, you know, mainstream rock stuff has came out out of Arizona, but, like, just, like, I guess R&B and hip-hop-wise, I would say, like, the biggest thing we've ever had is MC Magic. Okay. So, like, but as of right now, uh, we don't really, it's, there's not really a scene. It, it's just, like, a melting pot, really, right. you know, because, like, right now, for instance, uh... One of like the people that have like the most hype in Arizona is uh, Merc Merkums. Have you heard of Merkums? I don't think I have. Put me on. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's he's more like a like a very rap a rapping guy. Um, he's like uh, you know he's been on like uh, on the radar. He's been on Sway. You know, uh, Boulay Kev stuff. He just rapped at the, the BT shit. Like uh, he's he's a person that has traction. But that's what I'm saying though. Like I feel, for instance, like myself and all. Like I feel like I have a lot of you know like a lot of hype too. And as of like you know just big songs and stuff i have like you know i have records with t-pain with khalifa snow the product uh g easy um you know i have a lot of big records and people would talk about me and be like i don't even know who that is but that's that's because arizona like we're not really it's not like la la i feel like everyone comes together and supports each other and it's like it's like there's a lot of camaraderie out there it's just like homies over there other homies over here over here over here it's it's different man it's it's a melting pot it's like the the there the scene is is just diverse there is no scene i don't know how to explain it so so you feel like the support system out there isn't really like nah this? nah no one i feel out there is just like i feel like no one really fucks with each other you know what i mean uh for instance i feel like if i was like when i was out there i feel like i was i'd be trying to work with people you know here and there like and just try to come together but as as i've come out here like you know not a lot of people hit me up whatever but i've definitely like have hit people up over there and i feel it's more of like oh that fool went to la like he went to la like that's how that's how it seems like you know what i mean like yeah. a lot of people be like oh he went to la like a lot of people it sucks because i feel a lot of people in arizona be like you don't have to leave arizona to make it i'm like bro who the fuck in arizona has made it though like <laughs> yeah you know like you, you gotta leave bro like the, the, i think the closest person we've had to like almost be like mainstream mainstream is futuristic like he was on i think jimmy kimmel or something like he's yeah. super fucking dope he's legit he's independent and he just first of all that fool's legit like that fool fucking yeah i can't talk right now i'm sorry but uh <laughs> no you're good you're good no well i mean i was just gonna ask you bro because i mean like what city are you from you said you're from phoenix, phoenix yeah, yeah so when you think of like rap i don't ever really think of like anybody coming from phoenix do you feel like you guys have like kind of like a chip on your shoulder or something to prove yeah i mean i feel like we all do yeah like like you said what's the sound there is no sound so i feel everybody there is very like i'm gonna be the guy i'm gonna be the guy i'm gonna be the guy and it's like yeah, I think we all just don't know what the fuck we're doing. And in, in all honesty, I feel like me myself, I don't even know what the fuck I'm doing. Like, you know, so I'm just here and I'm thankful to be here. Right. Do you, do you think that like in the future there's able to be like some sort of self-sustaining like scene, music scene in Arizona if you guys like just come together? And yeah, try to, like I feel it's going to take one person. I feel it's going to take one person to really like become that guy. And then from there, like everyone's gonna be like oh shit arizona is like lit but it's kind of weird too because like for instance well candle of the day is more like r&b pop so that's actually different but i feel like as a hip-hop scene like as a rap scene like you know you look at atlanta you look at detroit you look at new york like yeah everybody fuck, la too like for instance 
people in Arizona fuck with like LA people like way way more. Like yeah. I, like since I've uh, since I've come out here, I go back home and people be playing shit. I'm like, oh bro, that's the homie. What the fuck? They be like. What the fuck? And I'm just like, bro, this, this food's like a regular dude. Like I see this food every other day. Yeah. Like like Jakarta, for instance. Oh, go, shout out Jakarta, bro. Yeah, bro. Shout I go back Jakarta, home yeah. and people are like, bro, this Jakarta food. Like they start playing Jakarta. I'm like, oh, that's my boy. And you know, but you know what's even crazier though? Like I hate to say shit like this, but like, for instance, they'll be like, oh, they play Jakarta. I'm like, bro, you know I have a whole project with Jakarta. They're like, swear. I'm like, <laughs> like even though you have a whole thing. project. Yeah, because yeah. if you go to my like Spotify and like my Apple and you go to like the cities, LA is like my top three. The uh, Atlanta is like in my top three. Okay. You know, like Texas is in my top three. It's fucking crazy. It's weird, you know? Yeah, cause cause you guys are in the middle of like California and New Mexico and Texas, and then yeah. that whole it turns southern there. Yeah. It's like a whole different sound. Like yeah, the bro. BPM is always like they're always like rapping like in triple. It's like duh, duh, yeah, yeah, duh, for duh, sure. Duh, yeah, duh, we. Duh. I just uh, I just met uh, the Mexican OT yesterday. Fire! Shout and, out Mexican OT. Yeah, bro, and that the, his shit is even to me. I'm like, what the fuck? Like it's like a whole different, whole different like yeah. type of shit. Cause it's southern, and like mm -hmm. I feel like right now, what's considered like southwestern would be more like LA stuff. Yeah, yeah. More like Arizona stuff and Nevada. Yeah. But then if you go up top to like Reno and then Northern California, they sound similar. Like yeah. It's crazy, bro. It's just geography, really. Like, yeah, no, shit's crazy. And then, like, you go to the Bay. It's a whole different fucking world in the Bay, different too. World, yeah. Yeah, I feel like uh, to me, there's four places to me that stand out alone, which is the Bay, L.A., Atlanta, and New York. Like, uh, they all have their own sound. And Detroit. Like, what about Chicago? I feel like the thing about Chicago, I don't think it's not that they don't have their own sound. I think they just fucking birth amazing motherfuckers you got kanye you got chief keith you yeah. got fucking even chance the rapper at white one variety one. a white bro variety. yeah they just have mother i feel chicago is just like a very musical fucking place like you know illinois in general because i mean even cm punk one of the fucking best wrestlers of all time is fucking from chicago you know or what? from I, illinois i never thought about that you're right like there are a wide variety of artists that do come out like chance the rapper is completely different from chief keith completely different from kanye yeah it's all different bro that's yeah. actually I, something big I never mensa really about. yeah is Vic Mensa from? Yeah, Vic Mensa's from Chicago, yeah, bro. Yeah. Have you ever heard his, um, he had an old song, something with orange juice. Yeah, 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 yeah. That shit was yeah. crazy. That, that, bro, Vic Mensa back then to me was a shit. I remember I used to, I forgot what this song, because he's like, And I, then and I, we live forever in my mind. Like, that's this, I forgot, I don't know what the lyrics were, but that I used to have that shit on replay. Vic Mensa, I don't know what the fuck happened. I wish he was bigger than he was, but I, maybe he just got in his own way, I don't know. I think he got into it, the reason why he kind of like, kind of fell off a little bit was because of those I think those comments that he made about X after he passed oh, away yeah. was a big reason kind of why people stopped fucking with him because he was talking to them even like you know it's you know the what's going on like what happened with that happened with that but like either way regardless people loved X yeah. and uh he yeah, you spoke definitely can't talk yeah, about X you bro you, about there's like a bunch of people you can't talk back you can't talk bad about Selena yeah. you can't talk bad about X yeah. and you can't talk bad about I mean there's there's other people I can't think about like Hawk know. really I mean yeah. I mean now like I feel like people like the younger generation starting to get older mm -hmm. starting to be like the more uh, like people yeah. are starting to care not what old heads think but, yeah you know what I mean like so for you like I mean, the younger dudes are becoming the old heads yeah now. exactly yeah. so like for you I guess um being from Arizona like what inspired like who were you listening to that made you want to make music so like growing up like I, I lived in a very Mexican household you know what I mean so like we didn't speak English like that you know it was all Spanish and to me like like third fourth grade when i didn't really like i wasn't really talking english like that yeah. i was listening to whatever's on the radio so it's akon t-pain yeah. you know whatever the fuck was popping there that's the only thing i got so like that's where my influence and like shit comes from really so as you growing up listening to so how old are you yeah i'm 26 27 26 20 so you, so you kind of grew up around like maybe like the early 2000s like yeah, yeah. 2000s 2010 yeah 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 dude i remember when the first the first time i ever heard a kanye song i was like eight years old listening to to, to heartbreak or yeah. what's it called? Uh, 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 808s and heartbreak. Yeah, but heartless. Yeah. Oh, heartless. heartless. Yeah. Okay. When that came out, I was like, damn, this is pretty cool, bro. No, that that whole project was dope. But what's crazy, right? Is like I don't think people understand. Also, like being Mexican, right? I think like I might get like a lot of fucking shit from for this, but 
me being Mexican, bro, I thought Ice Cube and Tupac were actors before they were rappers. Uh, like, like that's to me. Like, I saw them in Boys in the Hood, yeah. in Juice, you know, shit like that. Like, I was like, out of nowhere, I hear music. I'm like, oh, they make music too? Like, what the fuck? Like, so you saw them in movies before you? Yeah, saw them I saw. Yeah, I saw them in movies rappers. before I, I, I heard their music. You know, because I'm over here listening to fucking corridos, bachata, fucking banda, all that, all type of shit, cumbias, all types of shit. That's what yeah. I was on. Los dude, <laughs> dude, that's actually crazy. I wanted to ask you about that. How do you feel about like the whole like resurgence or not even resurgence because this is a, I don't think I've ever seen it this much, but like bro, Mexican music is global right now. No, it's crazy. It's I, like, I think it's I think it's our time. I think uh I think people are starting to realize like yo, like I feel as Mexicans, we don't complain about shit. We just oh. keep our heads down and we're just like, ah, eh, whatever, like we're just gonna work because that's I feel that's what our our parents taught us that's what our parents parents taught us like yo no one gives a fuck like, like keep like, your head down and work yeah just keep your head down and work and now it's kind of like i feel like you know the younger generation that started the the latinx you know what i mean oh I, I personally like God. i kind of i low-key like i hate i hate that shit but hey whatever if if motherfuckers want to stand up though and like they're doing shit for us that like you know that that I'm not gonna do, you yeah. know what I mean? Like I, I don't fucking, I don't really fuck with Latinx and all that types of shit. I just feel like yo, like just, I don't know. Anyway, no, yeah, yeah. dude, it's come, it's a complete like insult to the Spanish language, and I don't give yeah. a fuck what anybody says, bro. Literally, it's it's like a, the tinks, it's, bro. It's a gentrification <laughs> of the Spanish language. Like that was not made to be yeah. there. It was made by a bunch of fucking like, bro, a bunch it, of privileged kids. Yeah, bro. It's 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 just weird to me, bro. Like. I mean, first of all, like, I shouldn't talk about any of this, right? Like, the they, thems, there. I honestly don't give a fuck. If that's, if that's what you is, a they, them, you're... Uh, you're a guy that that clarifies as a she that's cool with me i don't give a fuck yeah just like just live just live your life and if i meet you and you're like hey bro i'm a i i identify as they them all right i'll i'll hit you with that and i'll call you that but you don't gotta be all online and shit like blah 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 yeah, yeah. like i'm not over here pushing like what i think you know what i mean it's just about like showing respect yeah showing respect to this is just, just all be respectful let's just all live in, in peace and harmony and i feel if we all come about you're different than me i'll fuck with you as long as like you know, you just respect how I feel about something too. I'm gonna yeah. respect how you feel. You respect how I feel. It just seems like recently, more with the with the way that the internet is getting more integrated into our lives, like every day, it's so easy to become so like hostile towards somebody yeah. that you disagree with. Yeah, it's kind of a shame. Um, do you ever feel like there's a way to kind of like get over that or kind of just like? I mean, just be off social media, I guess. Maybe. I don't yeah, know. probably. Like, I think nowadays everyone just. I don't think everyone. I think it's just the younger generation. Like it's crazy. They just want to just fucking i don't know just really make something that isn't something i don't i don't know how to i don't know how to explain it. i'm not really good with words i'm really good with words like making music but talking i'm not but no yeah, yeah. absolutely i know what you're saying basically what you're saying is this like people want to make a whole mountain out of a molehill yeah to, like start shit up where it doesn't need to be let's mm -hmm. not that deep yeah bro it's just like to me okay for instance like a little example is i think it blows my mind that a bumper sticker can make people go crazy like because people say donald trump for president or whatever it really has people like fuck that guy but i'm like bro it's a bumper sticker bro yeah. don't give the fuck bro like but no nah. yeah go ahead but nah bro people really bang that shit bro, bro. people really bang. It's, just, it's like really yeah. for real for real like, like yeah. i've seen i've seen i've been to i've been to like I've, I've i've been to like not not went to but like i've been in protests like i've seen them walking through like driving through mm -hmm. bro they get insane just because people like it's just different opinions bro literally we could just talk it out and it's really yeah. not that deep to me it's like bro at the end of the day i love tory lanes you don't like tory lanes it's all good. Let me listen to Tory Lanez. Yeah. Like, you know, like, did he shoot her? Did he not shoot her? I don't know. I don't care. It. I'm just trying to listen to his music. Yeah, it's like, what obligation do you have to, like, find yeah. it out? If you like his music, yeah. might as well. Why am I a piece too. of shit for, for liking his yeah. music? You know what I mean? Like, even just Michael Jackson in general. Like, right. people be on his ass like, oh, he definitely, like, did this, did that. I'm just like... Do we even know, bro? Like, I don't fucking know. I feel there's a lot more fuck shit going on. So do you think separating the artist from the art is something that people should be doing? Yeah. I mean, it's the same as, like, I think it's, like, you know, like, uh, using lyrics for fucking, uh, what's it called? For prosecution? Yeah, just, like, bro, it's just music. It's art, bro. Like, what the fuck? Like, for I, I don't know. I can't really think of anybody right now, but, like, I listen to somebody that like just makes the most depressing music ever <laughs> and but he's a fucking happy ass guy you know yeah. shit like that like comedians though you know right, like, right, right. shit like that i don't know man 
No, absolutely. Um, damn. Well, um, I wanted to ask you too, dude. So I know you've been doing a lot of music, and I wanted to ask you, what has been for a lot of artists out there i feel like nowadays the, the landscape is always changing for mm-hmm. artists to kind of like get out there and blow up what yeah. do you think got you to the place where you are today where you leveled up to that next level where you're like uh, okay not next level. Uh, not being scared and just always putting my dream like my dreams first or whatever like for instance um uh, so we uh, Bulek has my manager right okay so uh, Bulek, yeah. one of my managers yeah and I remember when I lived in Arizona still, I moved back with my parents. Shit wasn't going cool. Shit wasn't going good. Like, I was broke as fuck, whatever. I had a little money saved up. And this fool hit me up and was like, hey, do you want to come with Vegas? Do you want to go to Vegas with me uh, tomorrow, tomorrow morning? And mind, he asked me this, like, at 1 a.m. Because I was out with him. He took me to a Post Malone show. Like, that was, like... It was just a crazy experience, but yeah, right, yeah. This, yeah, this fool hit me and was just like, hey, like, do you want to go to Vegas with me and then come with me to LA? We'll put you in some sessions or whatever. Just two, three weeks, come back. And I was like, yeah, sh- I'm down. You know, like, when the blink of instance, like, yeah, why, why, like, what the fuck do I have to lose, you know? Yeah. But a lot of people, I feel, be like, ah, I don't know, uh, this, this, that. And then I remember him, he's coming to pick me up in the morning, like at 6 a.m. to drive so we could uh, go to Vegas. And he's like, hey, actually, bring a, bring a pack, pack more than usual. Stay with me for like three, four months. And I was like, okay. For sure, like without even thinking, I'm like, all right, cool. That's because I, I wanted this shit. I was like, bro. Yeah, you're dedicated. Yeah, like I was like, oh shit. Like to me, I was like, oh bootleg. Like at the time, like oh bootleg Kev fucking believes in me like this. What the fuck? Like why the fuck would I not do that? You know. And I feel a lot of people just don't think of it that way. And ever since then, I haven't looked back. Like you could hit me up at three, four in the morning to do a session. I'm up. Let's go. Who 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 knows? Yeah, no. Who knows what could happen? It's just just do it. Just fucking don't be fucking lazy and don't. Don't be scared. I don't know. So how did you meet Bootleg Kev? Uh, so he actually DM'd me uh, and was just like, yo, you're dope. Uh, this is like back then when I barely started taking music seriously. Um, what was this? Like what year? Shit, I don't fucking know, bro. Like years ago, like I was, I think I was barely 20, 21 or some shit. Like, I don't know. Uh, 2021? One of those. One, 21. I think I was 21. Yeah. Got you. And I was, living in, I was living in Vegas at the time, too, because I was just trying to get away from everybody and trying to just focus on music because I was like, oh, this could be something. So I was working two jobs, making music, and then he hit me up. was like, hey, bro, like, the shit you're doing is dope. Like, I fuck with it. Like, uh, uh, so... Trapzilla, do you know who Trapzilla? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Trapzilla told Kev about me. Oh and, shit! And then there's this dude Lifted that also told Kev about me. Lifted produced like Lamborghini Mercy, okay. like a lot of big records. They're all they're like they were an AZ and shit. And he hit me up and was just like, "Yo, bro, you're dope." Blah 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 blah. Yeah yeah yeah. And I was like, "Oh shit, what the fuck? Like this is crazy." And then he's like, "When I'm in AZ, we should link up." And I was like, "Oh, I live in." I was like, "I actually live in Vegas right now." Okay. And he's like. Bro, I'm in Vegas right now. And literally in like 30 minutes, I just went and got sushi with him. Damn, yeah. and that's then, crazy. Yeah, and then from there, we just, we just you know, linked up and shit. And yeah, he just started managing me. So you guys are both from Arizona, right? Yeah, yeah. Is he from Phoenix as well? Yeah, he's he's from, I don't know if it's Mesa or Sunny Slope. I think he's from Sunny Slope. But yeah, he's, he's, he's from Arizona. I have a question. What's in Scottsdale? <laughs> White people? Yeah, because <laughs> I know that, people? Cause that's a popular tourist destination that I hear about all the time. People well, yeah, that's Scottsdale. a popular like party destination. Like, yeah, what do you do there? What do you do in party. Scottsdale? I, I've, party. I, as I've gotten older, I've come to realize there's nothing. there ain't shit to do in Arizona but just drink. Get <laughs> fucked up to forget that you're in fucking Arizona. Yeah. But I love Arizona. Like My family's there and shit. But yeah, Scottsdale's just white people. That's where the white clubs are at. Uh, well, actually, shout out Kev, the the homie Corey. Uh, they uh, Kev just opened up a club in Scottsdale. I think it's the only hip hop club in Scottsdale. Really? Yeah. So that shit's lit. That's pretty sick. Yeah. They don't let me wear slides or fucking shorts to pull up, so I don't go. Really? Yeah. Well, it, you know, you gotta you gotta be you know they're trying to live up to oh, a code as right. a dress code. You know, they gotta compete with the other white clubs. You know? No. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, I was gonna ask you, bro. So do you stay like out here now? Yeah, I live out here. So how do you like being close to the ocean? That must be like a little I different. fucking hate the beach, bro. Oh, bro. I fucking hate the beach, bro. Why do you hate the beach? I just don't like sand. I hate that shit. Like, and and then the the water looks nasty as fuck to me. E, but how, what beach do you, what beaches do you go to? Santa Monica, Malibu. That's where you're fucking up. You gotta go to the Orange County beaches, bro. Oh, 
cool. Yeah, Orange Different. County. Dude, Orange County has but, way nicer beaches. If you go to Newport, Laguna Beach, yeah. you go to what else? Have you been out there? No? You haven't been out there? But but I'm gonna be real with you. I'm like I'm 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 a homebody as in like for instance, uh I don't like eating out. Like, if I have to drive 20 minutes or 30 minutes to go get food, I don't want to fucking do it. I want to drive five minutes, get food, come back. Even just to push it to Santa, Santa Monica to me, which is like 30, 40 minutes, I'm just like, bro, fuck this shit. Bro. Yeah. Like, for me, I don't, know, I, don't mind, I don't mind driving. I don't want to wait. I'm not yeah. waiting more than 10 minutes for food. I feel you. Like, I, I I, I'll wait if I'm really like... If it's something that I think is worth waiting for, I will wait. But I'm not waiting at, like, McDonald's or, like, a Carl's Jr. Fuck no. Do you have In-N-Out's in Arizona? Of course. Those get popping, huh? In-N-Out and Whataburger. Oh, you have both. And Sonic. Oh, shit. We have Sonic out here, too, but people don't where, really talk where the about fuck, that. Where the fuck is the Sonic, bro? Arcadia. Where the fuck is Arcadia? San Gabriel Valley. That's I think they got, like, a Sonic in, like, Lancaster. Yeah, there's hella Sonics out here, bro. Hey, and I'm assuming that's more than 30 minutes from North Hollywood, so I'm not going. Yeah, they're all up north. I'm not going. Not even north. It's, like, it's like north, uh, northeast, like, L.A. area. I only see them when I'm going to, like, Vegas. Yeah. For real? <laughs> it's Vegas. No, but that's crazy. I, so like Rosemead in some Rosemead. random places. I don't know. I feel like I've heard of Rosemead, bro. I don't know shit out here like that too. Like I'm very like like I don't so, drive. I don't I don't know shit. So just a basic breakdown of like the whole TMZ thirty mile zone. That's what we call it down here. TMZ thirty mile zone? Yeah, so the thirty mile zone okay. is you've heard of it, right? Thirty mile zone is you go from like the San Fernando Valley okay. all the way down to Orange County okay. and then to like Pomona and oh. then to Santa Monica and all that. That's okay. all Los Angeles. I I like County. San Fernando Valley. Yeah, San Fernando Valley is where most people go to, but like yeah. me myself, I'm from San Gabriel Valley, which is like a little bit east of, a okay. little, uh, yeah, a little bit. It's like where Pasadena is. Oh, okay, I know. Yeah. I know Pasadena. Yeah, it's like that area. I, I, did, I just went there to get tatted like last week. Oh yeah. So if yeah. you want to go to Sonics, there's one right there. I used to go okay. there all the time because I used to hoop at that park in Arcadia. But you could definitely go there for Sonics for sure. I, but but sorry, go ahead, go ahead. Oh no, no, it, it was, it was. I was gonna say. Oh, okay. I think my boy's girlfriend lives in Pasadena. Oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah, yeah. I was just gonna say, bro, since you. Have like water burger and in and out. Like, what do you think is better? Because I hear I see like the water burger, and no offense, it looks like trash. It looks like a big, like, like a big, like dog shit patty. So, I think I've okay. I personally feel if I had a decision between what a burger and in and out, I'm choosing what a burger, but crazy. because I there is no option between what a burger and in and out, I've just had in and out out here, so like, I'm f I'm really hyped on In and Out right now. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? Like, makes sense. I swear to God, I'll fuck it. I'll wait in that long ass line. Even though we said we didn't hate, wait, we hate waiting and shit, but I'll wait in that line. I'll wait in that line for sure. What's the In and Out Alexis meal? Oh, it's 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 just the it's the number one plane. It's the number one plane. And make sure you put salt on my fucking fries. I don't like salt on my fries. Too, what man. the fuck? I get my shit extra. Do you have like fries. high cholesterol or something? No, it's not like, even that, bro. I just don't. Or like... when it comes with salt, like sodium, like are you high in Dude, sodium? Dude, I just like the way that chips taste with no salt. And First like, of all, in and out fries suck. You're tripping. Nah, that's <laughs> what? Nah, like, what bro. No, fuck? you're tripping, bro. They're the best fries. Come on, what are you gonna say? Fucking McDonald's have the best fries. You like, like it and out fries? He likes me. He, he's like, I'm not even gonna answer that question. I'm just what gonna about, say McDonald's fries is better. What about like crinkle cut fries? Like, I like a nice crinkle. Like a Chick Fil A. I'm a those fries. <laughs> crinkle for sure. You know what fries are terrible? I fucking though. hate Chick Fil A fries too. Now you know what are the worst fries? Which like fries? the worst wing stop. Get that shit. No, the fuck. I, I love the here, sugar. Bro. I love the. Nah. I, I'll agree. I'll agree with the sogginess and the softness and the pillowiness. I don't like it, but I love the sugar taste on it. I am a fan. I am a fan. It's Nah, but bro. the best fries of all time That's out. Is, is rallies, checkers, checkers, rallies, best fucking fries ever. I haven't had those actually. Oh, you're missing out, my friend. You should go to Vaughn's or Ralph's, whatever is your favorite grocery establishment, and they have a frozen bag. Pick it up. Pick <laughs> you it know, up. you know what I fuck with though? I do fuck with the um. I don't, I don't know what they're called, but they're like little like they're fries that are like steak fries. <laughs> they're steak fries, but they're like uh, they're like wavy. They look like they're like waving. crinkle cuts. <laughs> no, because they're crinkle cuts like the oh no, that's waffle cut. I'm tripping. Yeah, the waffles look like the little oh, like they tell those. Okay, yeah. So were you mistaken earlier with the waffles for the crinks? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, Damn. crinkle fries are fire, but I feel like I can only find those like at a like a supermarket like frozen section. I actually just fries. bought some crinkle fries from Aldi's and I fucking hated them, dude. Aldi's, but they were frozen, dude. Shopping at Aldi's is a mind fuck because when you go, mm -hmm. they make you get they make you donate twenty five bucks. Bro, no. 
Wait, not donate. No, don't you gotta pay twenty five cents for the car? My bad, my bad. Twenty five cents for the car. My bad, my bad. Twenty five cents, twenty five bucks for a car is crazy. Yeah, I was about to say, wait, what? Twenty five cents just to get the, the fucking cart, cart just yeah. to push it around. And dude, I don't have change on me all the time, bro. So I'm just, I just find myself carrying all this shit well, all the time. I, I just, when I went there, we actually were like. We're like, we're, we're, we need 25 cents. We need 25 cents. And like, luckily, like, bro, just check the change thingy. Like, we had 25 cents. And we went, and it's like, oh, we don't even need to put the 25 cents. Usually, I think the cards are just out about. What it does piss me off is you got to bag your own shit. No, that's crazy. Yeah. That's wild. That's yeah. why I like to go to Stater Brothers. I've never heard. You've never heard of Stater Brothers? What do you guys have out there in Arizona? What kind of, what kind of like, grocery stores? Fries, Ranch Market. What the? Oh, no, we have Ranch Market. Uh, Safeway. Safe. That's a lot. Okay, we have a lot of Safeways in Northern California, but so, not a lot down here. So, Fries in Arizona is uh, Ralph's out here. Oh, okay. And then gotcha, Safeway gotcha. in Arizona is Vaughn's out here. Oh, if I'm not mistaken. My, I never knew. And then that. Ranch Market. I don't know if it's Vallarta's, but I think it's the same shit. There's a Ranch Market in Covina, I think. Yeah. Is there a food city out here? Yes. I love yes. Food city. The 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 Asian market. No, it's food city is a Mexican market. Oh, oh. not si oh no, I was thinking seafood city. My bad. Seafood. There's a seafood city. Yeah, it's I need fire. to pull up. Dude, have you ever had Jollibee? I fucking love seafood. Bro, have you ever had Jollibee? Fuck Jollibee's. You have. Uh, <laughs> You've had you've had Jolly Bean. You're saying no. Jolly it Bean. just looks disgusting, bro. I'm gonna tell you right now, a plate with spaghetti, Fuck fried chicken, no. Fuck gravy, no. mashed potatoes is insane. Uh, bro, the, wait, bro. they have mashed potatoes? Yes, bro. You can you're get lying. you get fried chicken with the gravy with the spaghetti. I, all I, I, I am plate. a mash man. I am a mash. No man. mashed potatoes for you. You said fuck Jolly Bees. Well, for, I'll go to KFC. No, fuck KFC. I'll go to fucking Popeyes. I'll go to fucking Boston Market for the fucking mesh. I don't know. Okay, but what's I, your... I did not know they was they was slinging the mesh. No, dude. Like I'm but serious. Spaghetti, you tripping? You, you got me fucked up on spaghetti. No, I, spaghetti, spaghetti with fried chicken is fire in general. Dude, okay. Is there a large spaghetti population? Spaghetti with fried chicken. <laughs> fried Bro. chicken is nice, but I don't know about spaghetti, spaghetti with fried spaghetti. chicken. Nah, sounds like leftovers, good. dog. You, Bro, you, <laughs> Bro hey, you ain't never you ain't never got the fried chicken and the spaghetti and towards. Nah, we're not having the Jollibee slander. I'm bro. sorry, I, my bad, Pilo. I know you love Jollibee, bro. It's Philippi it's fire. It's Filipino food, bro. It's because like the area that I'm from, there's a lot of Filipinos there, so there's a lot of Jollibee. Did, have there. you learned any Tagalog from no, all the Filipinos? No, around? well, kind of. Well, Do you a like lot of, a lot of <laughs> oh, wait. Wait, 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 do I like what? Lumpia. What's that? It's a Filipino, like, it's a very popular, like, Filipino, like, uh, egg roll. Oh, oh dish, dish. dish? Okay, I don't know what it, yeah. I didn't know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah I'm yeah. sorry. I do like lechon, though, bro, right? Like, like, literally, like, I just had lechon, like, not too long ago, bro. I love lechon. Have you heard that shit or no? No. So it's like pork belly. I think Mexicans. Oh, I love pork belly. Yeah, it's like pork belly, but it's like rotisserie and stuff. Oh, that sounds yeah. like a great time. Yeah, bro. Damn, yeah. it's crazy. Well, it's you know what I love, though, with my favorite food of all time is pho. Dude. Bro, I got I love it so much, I got it tatted on me. Yeah. Damn. Where? Shout out pho 43. Damn, shout out pho, bro. A yeah. lot of people say pho, but that's not how you pronounce it. I mean, it's I pho. Hey, if, if you love pho, Get it tatted. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Have you ever had a bomby sandwich? <laughs> fuck yeah. Man, what? Get the fuck bro, out of here, bro. Bro, these sandwiches, bro. Crazy. All, I had a, I had a math when I lived in San Jose. I had a math teacher. I, I don't, I don't remember her name, so I'm not gonna try to say it. But I remember she had like a, like a little competition, and if you won, she would brought, she would, she was gonna bring you like lunch. I won. I don't know how the fuck I won, but I won. And uh, she brought me a fucking barbecue pork Lee sandwich. Damn. Change my life shoot it up yeah man it was a great time you said it was a spanish teacher no no it was an asian teacher oh my bad yes <laughs> i don't remember it, like it, it which you know subject it was no no like if she was filipino vietnamese oh, or I whatever see. so i'm not gonna try to like mistake that shit because it's like i i know i know puerto ricans get mad if you call them dominican dominicans get mad if you call them puerto Bro. rican and they especially get mad if you call them mexicans oh my god <laughs> i don't understand <laughs> that Bro, facts no that shit crazy dude okay so how do you feel about like so right now Mexican music, I say, would be on top just because of the sheer popularity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like before, it was like Puerto Rican, like Bad Bunny. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't say Puerto Rican. I would just say like reggaeton because like J Balvin. Yeah. Like you're from Colombia, Carol G from Colombia. Shout out. She's from. She's going to me too. I'm pretty sure. I didn't know that. I'm I, Colombian. If, if I'm not, oh, look at that. Yeah. Look, I, I did not know that. Big That's Colombos cool. out here. Bro, Maluma. Crazy. Maluma. He okay. Goes, he goes you're crazy. a Malumer. 
Yeah, of oh, course. Dave Maloomer. Dude, my dad literally told me back in 2017, son. He told me this in Spanish. He was like, son. Mijo. I'm a sh- mijo. I'm going to show you. Look, he showed me Bad Bunny. This was before they popped off. Oh, yeah. He showed me Bad Bunny, J Balvin. He's like, son, these artists are going to blow up. In the Word? Next couple years. Hey, shout I was out like, Pops. I know. I was like, I was like, shout out Pops. But like, I was listening to like Lil Uzi, oh, for X. You. I was like, what? I mean, like, I guess it makes sense if you're listening to them. And then like, I think Bad Bunny's biggest song, like when he first came, I was like, Koosh, 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 trippy, trippy, trippy. No, yeah, exactly. Yeah, 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 so yeah. then that came out, and then it started snowballing, and then I heard Mia with Drake and Bad Bunny, and then my dad was like, "Told you." I was like, "Whoa!" I had yeah. no idea my dad was gonna like predict that. He knew, he knew what the fuck. Was I feel, I feel Mexican, like Mexican. I hate that I just even said that. I guess it's just because the people I'm around. But I think like corridos and like fucking like. All that shit is gonna be on when Drake hops on something, dude. If Drake hops on a corrido track, that's 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 when we're on. Let's be real, because Drake is like, he he'd be like, yo, this shit's popping. I'm gonna hop on this. Shit. Who would he make it with though? Obviously, fucking el, el peso peso plume. Think I think so? he should do it with Fuerza Regida though. I think he should do it with JOP. That would be fire. I fuck with JOP way culture. more than Peso Pluma. I it's, feel like Peso Pluma and and JOP are the top two contenders for a Drake feature. No cap. Yeah, no, I, I agree, and I think JOP should get it. Do you feel like, bro? Okay, I don't. Is there some sort of difference between like the the Corridos artists in that were from here, from LA, not LA, but I mean, you know, from California, and then the ones that are from like. Mexico originally like there's a big difference well in, like, the way that they or maybe not I, I, I don't think so just to say as in like just writer wise like first of all I don't know I'm, I'm not saying JOP has writers or anything like I don't I don't know but I'm just saying like when you're that fucking big you have like help like you have people yeah. coming in to help you um for instance like Nathaniel Cano I know he's from Mexico and shit you know and he, yeah he I feel like he started definitely started a trend I don't hear of him as much but I mean, he's still popping. I think he's hard, to be honest. I like to me. I like uh, Erenzas de Patrones and oh, yeah. and uh, Fuerza Regida. Like I remember, just like to me, when I first came across Fuerza Regida and Herencia de Patrones, that shit was gas. He was like, JLP was like, perp in my cup. Andale. Yeah, dude, that Corridos, shit's hard. bro. The way I explain Corridos to people that don't know them, it's like, bro, it's like the Mexican hip hop. Yeah, it's, it's 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 definitely Mexican trap. Like, yeah, well, it's not Mexican trap, but it's definitely like they're talking about some shit. Yeah, they're talking about trap. They're talking about some shit. Like, I just remember like growing up here, like con cuerno de chivo y bazooka en la nuca volando cabezas al que se el traviesa somos aguinarios loco bien un día los gusta matar. And you translate that is like, bro, I'm gonna fucking blast your fucking head off, and we like. Kill yeah. Like I was like, what the fuck? I'm listening to this. Like no, it's crazy. Yeah. It gets pretty insane. Yeah. Um, do you feel like in the future people are gonna start um like I guess changing up the way that Corridos sound and it can become like more of a mainstream type of thing where people I mean I, like I feel like shit. you know what's crazy is I feel it's always I think the most mainstream that I think the the people that could be the most mainstream is a uh, Grupo Frontera. Okay. Like I feel like they're the mo- the closest thing that can can be mainstream. Cause I feel like their shit is just like if you hear it, you know, it's like on a, like a Sunday cleaning shit. They remind me of like a newer Intocable, mm. if that makes sense. Um, so yeah, I feel like if anything too, I mean, they got the fucking Bad Bunny feature. Yeah. Think about that shit. That shit's wild. So it's like, yeah, I don't. I think I think Grupo Frontera already sounds mainstream to me. I think it's just a matter of getting used to it and getting accustomed to it. You know what I mean? It's it's like the same with like Afrobeats. At one point, like you hear Afrobeat is like, oh, this is like this is from Africa or blah blah blah. You know something? Yeah. But it's like then it becomes normalized. You know because someone like Drake made it. A lot of people would say like, oh, like I love that uh, that Drake song. It's like, bro, like Drake didn't even start that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Shit, shit like that. And I feel like that same thing is gonna happen when someone like Drake or someone else hops on like a corrido or something and they're like oh man that fucking drake song and it's like bro like this been existing it's been existing you know i was gonna say bro like so after the music is done with you like after you start like you know doing getting your accolades doing what you want to do getting where you want to go in the game Uh what do you want to do like afterwards with that success like what are you planning to how are you planning to like pivot that into something else or do you want to do music forever like that's actually that's actually a great fucking question um honestly I haven't really thought about that um, just because I'm a very live in the now moment uh, person. Right. Uh, I mean, ideally, I would love to move to Montana and just fucking have like a lake, a lake house. And, hard. Yeah, That's you hard. feel me? Some fucking, some horses, some fucking just 
just live a quiet, cool life. Man, imagine how peaceful that would be. Exactly, bro. bro. Like, just fucking wake up. I get to watch movies all fucking day. Fucking, I've never been fishing, but fishing, like, that shit looks cool as fuck to me. Looking I love fishing. Mountains, and I've never so. been fishing. Yeah, yeah. bro. Looking <laughs> at the mountains. Like, yeah. catching your own fish. Yeah, riding horses it. and shit. Just, I, I'm, a, I'm more of, like, you see, I hate, I don't like the beach, but I love, like, the forest. I love the woods. Like, oh, okay. like I, I'm that type of person, you know what I mean? You gotta go to Northern California. You well, gotta check the north. Well, I actually, well, yeah, I've been to like Yosemite. I've been to, I've been to like a lot. I've been to Idaho. I've been, I've seen some, I've seen some shit for sure. It, and I, and I love it. And even like Flagstaff. Flagstaff is a yeah, little like that as it's well. It's a little like that, yeah. yeah, yeah. If you ever want to go somewhere in California for some inspiration and some deep spirituality, like soul oh. searching, oh shit, bro, go to Mount Shasta. Mount it's, Shasta. It's right at the tip of California, like right before you get. It's like an hour drive south of uh of Oregon, bro. Okay. It is insane. Bro, have you ever played Skyrim? No. You know what that is or no? Uh, I, I know what it is, but I don't know anything about it. Cause it's I, like a medieval game yeah, type I, shit. Oh, okay. Bro, when you go and it snows, it looks like you're in fucking medieval times. It's crazy oh, okay. as hell. Is it like a Viking game? Yeah, it's like kind of yeah. It's I, I, like a I fuck game. with Vikings. I've I just seen all the Vikings on History Channel. It's oh. like a medieval RPG. You could yeah. like cast spells. Oh, that's fight my favorite game ever. Got, my, favorite game. my favorite game ever so far is the new Harry P- Hogwarts Legacy. I that haven't shit played is, that, bro. Yes. I haven't played that. Bro, it's the shit, bro. I'll be in that bitch like, ever, ever, bro. I'll be in that bitch. Yeah, you be smoking foods with the one? Bro, <laughs> go crazy. I got, I got my combo. I got my combos already done. It's cool, too, because, like, you couldn't really do, like, a bunch of shit on that shit. It's yeah. like GTA. It's a GTA for Wizards. Right. What else do you play? Uh, I just play, like, FIFA. Like, I'll smoke anybody on FIFA. Madden, I'll smoke anybody on Madden. We need to run that. Oh, we could easily run that. I'm not good at it, but I'm done to try. We, we can run it. <laughs> I'm done to try, though. <laughs> I'm done to try it. Yeah. And then I just got uh, I just got MLB The Show, and I'm, I'm getting pretty good at it. Like, I'm a person that, like, I obsess over little things. Yeah. Like, at a, at a time or whatever. I think it's called... I don't know what it's really called, but... When I'm really into something, I'm into it and I can't let it go. So like right. right now, I've been playing the baseball game, but Madden, FIFA, I'm really good at that shit. Um, 2K, I'm okay. I can hold my own, but I've definitely I'm not confident enough to bet. And 2K's yeah. kind of toxic. Yeah, I don't I don't I don't really like 2K. It's I, fun though. Yeah, I don't really like bas. I, I like basketball, but I don't like basketball talk. I feel like that shit's like annoying to me. Yeah, why don't you like? Ba- okay. Help me understand, because basketball is, like, my favorite sport. So, okay. what do you find annoying about it? I'm curious. Uh, I don't know, bro. It's just, like, I don't, I don't really dive into it. I mean, bro, you know what's so crazy? I have the Phoenix Suns tatted on me. <laughs> <laughs> no, y'all won, though, like, a couple years ago. Yeah, I, think like maybe three years. I, I, just, I just, like, I just think basketball, to me, is just, is just wild to me. Like, you know, the whole LeBron talk, the Michael Jordan talk, like, the whole everything talk. Like, bro. I guess I don't, it's not that I don't like basketball. I just find, like, these arguments annoying. I'm just like, hey, guys, <laughs> like, it's, you know, like. How will this affect LeBron's legacy? Yeah, like, I'm just like, bro, I don't give a fuck. Like, yeah. I'm so happy this fool could spend X, Y, Z on his fucking body and blah 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 but i don't give a fuck it's not affecting me no type of way <laughs> so are you a soccer fan yeah, yeah i like football okay fo- football now you can say soccer my bad yeah, i'm sorry i'm sorry so, i'm sorry um, how do you feel about bro? messi's coming to miami that's cool that's i think it's really i think it's really dope for the mls i think the only thing that the mls needs is regulation and promotion which i don't see how it could happen because miami i think if i'm not mistaken paid like 55 million or five billion dollars to even join the mls yeah. so you can't regulate or or promote because like overseas right um you know like how that works regulation and promotion not really no all right bro yeah it's put fucking me amazing put me on it's fucking amazing okay so imagine imagine uh imagine basketball all right okay nba then you have the g league and let's say there's a league underneath the g league and there's another league underneath the g league so the top two, like the top two winners of the G League get to go to the NBA and the bottom two teams of the NBA go to the G League. Okay. Yeah, it's just, it's just fucking dope. It's just, it's just like tiers. Yeah, yeah. So you could, you, and the, so, so it just imagine like three tiers from the NBA. So NBA, G League, uh, tier underneath, tier underneath, tier underneath. You could be at the bottom and somehow make it to the fucking NBA. Mm. It's fucking like, so uh, Ryan Reynolds actually just bought a team, uh, Rexham, uh, Rexham FC or AFC. I, I forget what it's called. What city is that? Uh, that's, that's in Europe. Oh, yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. So, so they have the Premier League. The Premier League is like 
like uh, where Cristiano Ronaldo he played in Manchester United, you know Manchester City. That's like all Europe, right? Yeah. Well, all Europe is different. You have the Spain leagues. You have the the La Liga. You have. Oh, Premier League is. Uh, is, is England. Oh, okay. You know, no, I mean, it. It's England, and you know, it's just diff- it's different shit. But I'm just saying. So he bought a fucking team that was like three tiers from like the NBA and he's getting it to the fucking NBA and like just off that that's who's making so much fucking money. Yeah. It's 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 just fucking crazy. It's a crazy thing. But Saudi Arabia right now, they're starting their own league and bro, these fools offered Messi, I think if I'm not mistaken like a, a billion dollars, like five like some type of billions of dollars it's a bag. to go play over there and it's just cuz they're they're trying to start their their own shit. It's it's fucking crazy, bro. Soccer's soccer's wild. It's global too. No, it's global. Yeah, that's why I be trying to tell people like I think it's funny when people talk about uh, talk to me about like hip hop and R and B and this and that. I'm like, yeah, that's dope. I'm like, but you can't fucking tell me that Kendrick Lamar is fucking bigger than J Balvin because he's not. He's really not. <laughs> so, I I honestly, to be honest with you, bro, I'm gonna be completely real. I kind of stopped. Um, it's just kind of like the way that people listen to music has changed a little bit more. People mm-hmm. want to enjoy more rather than yeah. to like take it in as like so deep as like yeah. a super deep message uh, i think you can kind of tell just based off of like the performance of kendrick's last album how yeah. how people kind of feel about music nowadays mm-hmm. you know it's a little bit different yeah. like the fat not i don't want to say necessarily fast food music but like when you make such a deep complex like concept album like mm-hmm. unfortunately nowadays people aren't gonna listen to it um, people are stupid now it's just the p- attention spans not there yeah, people yeah. are not gonna take the time to do that so i was gonna ask you how do you take Whenever you're like working on a project, like what's your goal for the listener? Uh, honestly, I really don't make music for the listener. I make it for myself. Cause at the end of the day, bro, you know how much it fucking sucks that I like I dropped a song with Wiz Khalifa, right? One of the biggest fucking records ever. Like to me, it's so dope. Oh, it's a it's a fat smoke perp. Oh, I bet his fucking dad paid for the feature. Oh, his dad must be Wiz Khalifa's plug. Like, <laughs> like what the fuck, bro? Like, yeah, bro. Hey, that's hey, man. That's you know how game. annoying that shit is, bro. Yeah. And you know what pisses me off? The fact that I'm like, I'm really here in the studio, like making music that I think is so fucking dope and like very really meaningful. And at the end of the day, like I play it for a homie or I play it for somebody that I, oh, <laughs> like hey, bro. Lena the plug just fucked didn't fuck somebody else. I'm like, bro, what the fuck? I don't give a fuck, bro. So to me, I like I just stopped. I just stopped. Like I'm like, I'm making music for me that I right. like. You know what I mean? Obviously, there is times where like I have to have like you know like you know management business wise like hey no we need this type of record right we need this type of record you know because if you don't have those records we're not gonna you're, we're not gonna get listens we're not gonna make money and you know you're not gonna so so i gotta make those records you know what i mean so is being an artist what you imagined it to be no or is it more kind of like i wish i wish i was my age like 10 20 years ago because i that's what i imagined where it's like now, like I have to be an influencer now. Yeah. Like now, I'm like, I'm like, bro, like I be trying to tell people, like, bro, I'm not a pretty motherfucker, bro. I'm not like, I'm like, like people look at me like, oh, bro, there's some cholo ass fool. I'm like, bro, I open my mouth, I sound white as fuck. Like I'm from Arizona, dude. I like, uh, <laughs> like I fucking, you know, I, I don't know what to tell you. It, it's just crazy to me, bro. Like being an artist fucking sucks, like, you know. Like it, it just. It doesn't suck, but it just it's just way different than what I fucking thought it would be. You have you have to do TikToks, you have to do promo, you have to do this, you have to do that. And I think it's not they, just making music anymore, huh? Yeah, you, you know what I mean? Like I enjoy this. This yeah. to me is cool. Like I was like, oh shit, I feel cool. I get yeah. to put my glasses on and shit, yeah. you know what I mean? Like but it's it's just not it's 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 way different, you know, like and especially just people really think like I, I'll, I'll take like two a whole month working on like five songs and in fucking five minutes somebody can really just sh- this shit sucks and yeah, I'm like, dude, yeah and then their fucking favorite artist is fucking some bullshit ass motherfucker and i'm just <laughs> like hey but that's that's that them though kudos yeah. to them that's cool that's dope you know what i mean well um have you ever considered like being an artist but also being a per like not just influencer but i guess like a personality like i guess doing more stuff like this because i feel like a lot of people are trying to take that step like yeah, someone yeah. like almighty suspect who still raps but yeah. he's still like on a podcast yeah. and he still kind of has like that i, I feel those are way. people that want to be famous though mm. i feel those are people that want to be in front of the camera okay you know what i mean like i mean in all reality in like actuality like i'm here because like 
you know, it, it benefits both of us. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, you know, you're doing your podcast, whatever you need artists, and I need exposure. I just dropped the rec I just dropped the whole collab project with Jakarta. Go get it. Cactus. Go Kula. get it. It's the shit. But you see, like it's just shit like that. Like I, I've realized like I have to I have to be out there. I have to be like I have to show face. I'm not the fucking weekend. I'm not fucking Drake. I don't get to just disappear. I'm not Kendrick. I don't get to disappear. I have to be out there. You know what I mean? I have to I have to educate people on who I am and what I do. Because if a lot of the people like ten not ten out of ten people you put me in front of, I tell you I make music, oh this fool makes this fool probably sounds like probably makes music that sounds like King Lil G or like like you know I, I don't fucking know or yeah. just other, other people and but I don't even sound like that and you hear my music you're like what the fuck this is you yeah. this is crazy you sound like Tory Lanez you sound Post Malone The Weeknd this is crazy now you mentioned earlier that you do have a song with T-Pain yeah that's pretty monumental bro oh how no did, bro I how did that come about shit uh shout out my manager Bootleg Kev um Shout out to Kev. Bro, That's Kev Kev's the guy. Kev's the guy. It's so funny too, even saying that because I feel like I hate the fact that like in Arizona, a lot of people be like, oh, it's just because of Kev that he has these features. Damn, people are haters, bro. But I feel that's just what it is everywhere. It's, it's yeah. not just Arizona, but like I see the comments. Because right. I feel like people just be trying to discredit motherfuckers. And it's like, but to me, I'm like, bro, but also like I have to make the song good enough so that he fucks with it. Yeah. If it fucking wasn't good, he wouldn't hop on it, bro. Yeah. Like, you think, first of all, I love Snow the product. She's dope as fuck. And I love her because she fucking, she's, ve she knows what the fuck she likes and she knows what the fuck she's doing. She's very like, I'm the fucking guy. I know what's up. I'm only going to do shit I want to do and it's going to make sense. She wouldn't hop on the remix of that record if she didn't like it. So that's why I'm just trying to tell people, like, bro, I have to do my end too. Like, you think this is just like Kev, just like, hey, here, hop on this, please. No, bro. Like, the same with Wiz. The, like, I was uh, with my boy TK, right? We uh, we send the record uh, we send the record out. He sent the record out and he would just be like, oh, he, he says he's going to do it. And it's in his feature list or his feature folder or whatever, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, cool. We we finished the whole project, whatever. We're about to be ready to get done. We got Cap G on it. You know, it was dope. We shot the video, everything. Everything was done. Three weeks later, hey, Wiz hopped on the song. Damn. I said, wait, what? He's like, yeah, I'm gonna send it to you. I remember I told this one, like, let's go to. The, he had a he has a studio at his crib. I'm like, hey, bro, let's go listen to this. I'm like, oh, shit, I got Wiz Khalifa on a song. Like, to me, that's my childhood. I remember I met Wiz and I was like, hey, bro, like, you're the reason I was wearing Chucks, fucking Bombay and Lemonade. I'm wearing fucking camo cargos. Like, wow. you know what I mean? Like, bro, I was wearing a Wiz Khalifa shirt right now. Yeah. Oh shit. Yeah. Shout, yeah. Out, Wiz. Shout, Shout out, out Wiz. Shout out Wiz. Shout out Wiz Khalifa. But that's what I'm saying though. Like, that's just like my childhood. And to just even have records with T Pain. Akon, uh, not I don't have records with Akon, but I, you know I got to work with Akon like yeah, yeah, in the yeah. studio and shit. Uh, you we know, gotta hear about the Akon stuff next. I, I I'm dying to hear about Akon, bro. Uh, it's, it's 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 a nice time. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, just uh, the wish shit. You know, Cap G, 24 hours. Like I grew up listening to all these fools, and for me to have records with them is already I've already won in my life. Like to me, I'm just like, bro, what the fuck? Like, and now I'm here just, I'm just, I'm just living. I'm enjoying life. I'm living my dream. I get to fucking just make music every day and get fat and drink alcohol. <laughs> you feel me? No, I felt that. Um, damn, bro. Well, um, do you have anything that you want to let like the people know, like out there, like anything that you want to like promote, anything you want to like get out there real quick? Yeah. Um, I got a project with Jakarta, <laughs> uh, Cactus Cooler. Shout out Jakarta Slim. Sir. That's my guy. That's fucking... That's a, that's an interesting man right there. But yeah, I got a I got a collab project with him. We just dropped it. It's dope. Go get that shit. What you got coming up? What you got plans, man? I like, actually have a I actually have a project I'm about to drop. Like I'm hoping next month, and uh, it's pretty legit. It's pretty I dope. It's a uh, it's definitely different. It's a, it's a nice time. Fire, bro. What was working with Akon like? Like, how did you get in the studio with Akon? I seen those videos, bro. I just, I'm just wondering, bro. I can't, I can't let this part go without knowing, dog. See, I wish I had a fucking like dope ass story to tell you, but in all reality, he came to do an interview with Bootleg Kev, <laughs> and I just <laughs> oh, so ha I just so happened to be there. Be in the cut, I just happened to be there, yeah. And then you know, I definitely, you know, some way worked my magic to play him shit, and that fool just started tripping, like, what the fuck, like, like this you, like what. Like holy shit! Yeah, like, this, that's fire, bro. Yeah, bro. That's and fire. I lowkey, I'm not even gonna lie. I lowkey was like wanted to tear up and cry because I was just like, what the fuck? Like I yeah, listened bro. to this fool in second grade. Like 
Like, that's major. It's a trip, yeah. Yeah, yeah right there. that story alone. Hey, go for your dreams. Everyone, yeah. you're hearing this? Go ahead. Go ahead and chase your dreams. Show no. that person. Show that person your music. You see them. No cap. Yeah. And see, even things like that, right? I look at that shit and I don't. I don't even think anything of it. But then sometimes I have to step back and be like, Oh shit, I've 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 experienced some cool shit in my life. Yeah, yeah. bro. Not a lot like, of people. I, I'm on the Mad Deep podcast. Hey, the, hey appreciate you. you like bro. what? Appreciate at, at the beginning like, too. Man, at the beginning yeah. too, yes, sir, bro. Well, you know I mean, this will about to have Peso Blue Mind like two months, bro. That's what I'm saying. We got it coming. We got it coming. But bro, you have been a, a man. It's been a pleasure. Thank you so much for yeah. coming. Sorry, I didn't podcast, take off my bro. shirt. <laughs> no, yeah, you're good, bro. <laughs> you're all good. Um, good conversations, good vibes, guys. Thank you so much for tuning into this episode. We had Alexis wrote it today. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, appreciate you guys. Um, any last words um go follow me i guess alexis wrote it a-l-e-x-c-i-s-w-r-o-t-e-i-t yeah yes sir all right see you later alligators <laughs> what the fuck i fuck with that that was funny i did not expect that shit okay right, guys, that's mad deep thanks for tuning in shout out to alexis wrote it shout out to kenny miles holding it down shout out to big rick in the building True. Big, shout rick. Out, shout big rick big rick range